this is take two of this video because I recorded it the first time and my mic was muted the whole time. I just, I'm tired. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Fitness Friday, where every Friday or every other Friday, I go over my fitness journey. I showcase my fitness that I did during the week at the gym or at home, and I show a meal of the week recipe. All right, let's get into it. So I'm fresh out the gym. You can still see it, uh, hopefully. Yeah, uh, it was pretty rough today. I I finally caught my breath. We did uh, toast the bar. I do I do toast the kettlebell. I, I can't do toast the bar yet. And then my wrist still hurts. I have not set up that appointment, but I will. And we did thrusters. Normally I kill it during thrusters, but my wrist really hurts holding it in this position. And it just, I don't know, it was just really bothering me. But it's like the more I did the workout, it kind of worked it out. So who knows? And then we did uh, double unders. I can't do double unders. So I just do singles. Double unders, for those that don't know, it's where you are jump getting the rope to go under you twice in one jump. Uh, even some of the most elite people in the gym cannot do it. So it, it's pretty tough. But once, it seems like once you get it, though, you got it. It just, it's a lot. Uh, so I want to get into talking about uh, carbs today. So I saw this post this morning where... This lady I follow, um, I think her name's Melissa, was it Wilson? She does like a lot of deadlifts and stuff. Gorgeous lady, very fit. I inspire to be that strong. <clears throat> and she posted a picture of herself from a year ago to today. And her picture was, two pictures were like a year apart. And you could see the difference. She looks great. And I think she only lost like maybe like 30 pounds or so. Not much, but you she's I'm pretty sure she's like mostly muscle, but she looks fantastic. And she says she cut out red meat, she cut out all dairy, and cut back on carbs. And the word carbs stuck with me because I'm a vegetarian for one. And dairy, I don't I don't really consume a lot because I am kind of lactose intolerant. So yeah, it's the best I stay away from those. And carbs i realized i had like a flashback of my life like i was dying of the past couple of weeks to a month and yeah i consume a lot like this morning i had my smoothie i had a fig bar and then i had a impossible bowl which was a uh, pasta bordelis and i came home <laughs> and i had a sandwich and then I had a piece of my birthday cake. I had half of half of my birthday cake. It didn't sit well with me on my stomach. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Two days ago too, I had like a 24 hour bug. I was sneezing. My stomach, it was like from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed. My, I don't know. My stomach was just bothering me all day long. It didn't matter what I took. I just, uh. but anyway, I realized that I'm probably eating a lot of carbs to kind of make up for the lack of protein like I don't eat meat but I'm trying to make up for the protein by having more beans and getting back into eating quinoa and chickpeas and lentils I just I gotta switch it up <laughs> also to uh this week on Monday August 29th it was my birthday yay I'm one year uh, more fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fine is one. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so also too, it is my first year anniversary of being a vegetarian. I became a vegetarian on my birthday of last year. I know it's crazy. I told myself last year, every birthday, I'm going to treat myself by having a meal that I want, no matter what it is, even if it included meat. I said that and I got around this year. I did think of a meal uh this lasagna bianca from this uh italian place here in town it's so freaking good <laughs> i want it so bad but i'm not uh i don't want to hurt <laughs> so i i found some 
vegan and vegetarian recipes and i plan to make that real soon that's gonna definitely be a meal of the week when i do make that i realize i i eat a lot of carbs i, I eat a lot of bread i eat a lot of tacos i i i eat a lot of pasta like my go-to meal especially on the weekend like on a saturday my go-to meal is pasta i will go and make a pasta dish and I, it's it's quick and easy <laughs> it's pasta sauce cheese or i make a cream sauce i do that quite often and i, I honestly i was actually gonna make pasta for myself this weekend wow yeah, I need to really lay back on the carbs. So that, I don't know why that just, when I read that, the word carbs just stuck with me for so long. And then I thought about when I used to do keto, um, I did keto before all the stuff was available at the stores. Uh, I was having to make my own dough, my own bread. I did all that. Um, I did it for like 90 days. I know I did it through, during the summer and i actually did lose weight i i will say that i i did lose some weight I, I think i lost like 25 pounds within like 90 days or it was during the summertime and i felt great or i i looked great but i felt off it was exhausting having to like cook everything from scratch especially working all day if i didn't have to work all day i could probably uh do do a lot more stuff i could pump out videos i could do this every week it's just i'm having to squeeze this in like i have to work tomorrow morning um if i didn't it wouldn't be a stress to get this out this fast i would just like yeah take my time but or i would have it you know i just have to i still have a full-time job um but I love the transition to doing just this eventually. I just have to be more consistent. That's why I'm sticking with it. Even though these videos come out late, I don't like them to come out late, but they do. But I, I, I realize I, um, I, I need to cut back. I, I start, I started back eating chips. I actually had went cold turkey on chips like a year or so ago. And I kind of got back into chips last year and I've just been on it ever since. Um, so I think come Monday, and I'm going to say Monday because my husband's bringing home these tacky chips, these dragon ones. I'm sorry, I got to have those. Those will be the last chips I go out on. Then I'm going <laughs> to kind of go cold turkey like I did the last time. I know you can eat them in moderation, but for me, it's best if I just go. I realize with me going cold turkey is best. I cannot wean myself off. I just, I don't know. I don't eat, I've been actually kind of weaning myself off of chips a little bit. I actually had chips today too. I just realized I had the, the, the Cheetos, the jalapeno Cheeto chips. I, see? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the fitness video. We'll be right back. <laughs> video is a workout from my morning workout my hip-hop now i i am currently on a active rest week um next week we start the next six weeks last week i um still did the i did the last week of the workout for the uh, hip-hop i went to crossfit one time and then i took the rest of the week off i was just very tired um again i'm not getting enough sleep that's my fault and um i think i'm gonna start taking these active rest weeks normally i don't take them i just keep working out but i think i will 
So that way I start strong and I can finish strong. I just, I got to give myself a break because working out nonstop all the time, you just, and then on top of that working, it's just, it's beating me down. And then I just don't have any energy for anything. We're on an active rest, uh, rest week. We're going to get back into his workouts next week and then I can go strong. So I feel like I took a week off last week from CrossFit, this week from his, and then we're going to do it together. So this week for meal of the week, it is not actually a meal of the week. It is a meal I made for breakfast. It was a little taco, <laughs> breakfast taco. <laughs> I miss those so bad. Oh my goodness. The breakfast burritos. Oh my goodness. I love them. See, I need to cut back on carbs. I just, <laughs> or get carb free stuff. I'm going to work on that. I really am going to work on that. I, and I don't know. I had, I sat there in bed for like a whole 10 minutes thinking about all the stuff I eat that involves carbs. I'm like, wow, you kind of going crazy. That's probably why you can't lose weight. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into that middle of the week. Because it was it was good. My mom and husband were kind of fighting for the rest. I ain't gonna lie. I told them they could they could have the rest of it. I only had the three, but it, it was delicious. And then I was hungry like three hours later. I will say, being a vegetarian, I feel like I have to eat a lot. I have to eat uh, more frequent, but I try to eat more filling meals. And that you know what? That's how I stopped eating chips before. I realize that now. I stopped eating things that had no nutritional value if it wasn't really giving me any value no nutritional value i just wouldn't eat it i wouldn't waste my time eating things that uh just didn't help me it was it was just a waste and that's how i saw it and i need to see it like that again like with chips that's how i stopped eating chips i just realized that it's all coming back to me it was like years ago but i was like i was sitting there thinking like how did i stop eating chips like like i did and it's because I would always, every time I wanted chips, I'd be like, do you really need to eat that? Is it really going to make you full? I would always weigh it in my head, like do a questionnaire, do a list off, question myself, like, is it going to make you full? Are, are you really going to be full from this? Is it uh, a nutritional value? No, you know, and I, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, eat it, so. I got to get back into that. I got to start questioning things before I put it in my mouth. So, but anyway, this is come. We're coming to a close. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you for sticking with me. I am a work in progress. I would like to make some progress. The whole point of me, I started fitness Friday because I wanted to be committed and dedicated to, to my journey. I figured if I was recording it, how could I fail? <laughs> Lo and behold, we are like eight months out of the year. And yeah, that there's been few changes, but not much. If anything, I was doing better in the beginning. And it just, as the summer, as it got closer to the summer, it's just been wrong. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying guys. But then again, it's it's me. I'm being real. I'm not faking anything. I'm, I'm not, not at all. 
I'm gonna end with the ending quote. Sometimes we have to reevaluate ourselves, our circles, and or our plan of action. And then we have to make the tough decisions. I gotta make tough decisions. I gotta cut out these chips. Now I know I just said I'm gonna have these tacky chips. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them chips. It, he said it's just half a bag. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know I should just go ahead and cut. You know that that's what you want me to do. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm I, I'm weak at heart. I, I just let me have that, and then I <laughs> and then I can go on because <laughs> he's already breaking it off. So uh, that's why I said Monday Monday, but. I guess that would be my little carb cheat because everything else I plan to eat light for the weekend. But I'm ready for some football. How about you? Roll Tide. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and follow and share it with your friends, family. Tell everybody about it, okay? I'm going to lose weight eventually, I promise. <laughs> and if not, I'm going to lose some inches, okay? I appreciate you for sticking around. I will see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.